The Complete Guide to Animals by Jenny Johnson. As this is a reference book, I'll only be reading the main narrative texts with each section as a separate video. General Consultant, Professor Philip Whitfield. Introduction. The staggering array of animals that inhabit all corners of Earth can be divided into two main groups. The vertebrates, animals with backbones, and invertebrates, animals without backbones. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish all have backbones, while insects, spiders, and mollusks do not. Habitats around the world. Animals live everywhere on Earth in every kind of terrain and every kind of climate. An animal's natural home or environment is called its habitat. Most animals are only adapted to live in only one or two habitats. A barracuda, for example, is a saltwater fish and could not live in a freshwater lake. A seal could not live in a desert, and a rattlesnake could not live for very long in the Arctic. Some animals migrate in the spring and again in the fall to find warmer habitats with an abundance of food. The varying climates around the world create vastly different climate and plant life zones, from hot, dry deserts and hot, rain rain <laughs> wet rainforests, to freezing polar deserts, deep oceans, open grasslands, and freshwater lakes and rivers. The animals that live in these different environments have evolved a staggeringly diverse range of different ways to live, feed, and breed. Ocean zones. The ocean can be divided into zones. Most plants and animals live in the warm, light zone at the top, called the euphotic or sunlit zone. Below this, the dysphotic or twilight zone is too murky for plants to grow. Animals that live here include lanternfish and giant squid. No light reaches the aphotic or midnight zone. Only strange creatures such as the anglerfish and gulper eel live here. At the bottom, the seabed is home to sea cucumbers and brittle stars. What is an animal? There are many kinds of living things, and we divide them into five groups called kingdoms. Fungi, bacteria, algae, and tiny invisible organisms in every drop of water are all alive and must reproduce and obtain food, just like animals and plants. Some make their own food, while others consume other organisms. Animals are much more developed than other living things. Animals are divided into two main groups. Vertebrates, animals with backbones, and invertebrates, animals without backbones. The vertebrate group includes fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. The, ver the invertebrates include creatures such as worms, sponges, mollusks, and insects. You might be surprised to see that all of the creatures on these pages are animals. Signs of life. There are seven main signs of life that distinguish living things from non-living objects, and animals have all seven. Animals breathe in order to get oxygen into the body to help the fuel the body's processes. Reproduce, most of them sexually, although a few simple animals reproduce by making identical copies of themselves. In sexual reproduction, a male and female sex cell join together to make a new individual. Move around, in order to find food, mates, or escape from danger. Even some of those that appear not to move, such as barnacles, have young that swim freely before settling on a rock. Feed on other organisms, plants or animals, in order to make energy for the body. Animals also need to drink water. Sense the world around them by sight, smell, touch, hearing, and or taste. Grow, both to reach full size and to repair damage in the body. Ex <laughs> excrete. <laughs> excrete or remove waste products from the body. Animals breathe out carbon dioxide and get rid of other waste in the form of urine and feces. Animal classification. 
Many more than a million species of animals have already been described, and scientists estimate that there may be tens of millions more yet to be discovered. Scientists classify the animal kingdom into different groups. A brown bear, for instance, is a species of bear. A species is a group of very similar organisms that can breed together. Bears belong to the bear family, which belongs to the order of carnivores, which is in the class of mammals, which is part of the phylum called chordates. Chordates are animals that have backbones. The chart below shows the main animal groups. And for mammals, or the first section of mammals, you'll have to wait for the next video. That was the beginning of The Complete Guide to Animals by Jenny Johnson.